Welcome to Cleveland. On the national stage, LeBron elevated basketball in Cleveland. The hoops in the land has never stopped at just LeBron. Basketball is more than a sport in Northeast Ohio. It's a culture. From the burbs to the inner city, you can find some of the livest games in the state. Everyone out here works to earn stripes, and rivalries are born every single day. High school basketball is hard in Cleveland. Life is harder. Welcome to Cleveland, y'all. Home of Neo Hoops. journey begins now. Three kids, three stories, one dream. Let's ride. Carlton Bragg, six foot nine four, top 10 ranked player in the country for the class of 2015. He can do it all. This kid is the truth. I first heard it, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. I just kept working, but now I see everybody looks up to me. I'm um, a big responsibility. Everything everything I do is everybody tells. Record everything. Like I threw a piece of trash out at lunch. I missed the garbage. They broke me up. Everybody like caught somebody tweeted, caught the bag, just lit it. Like wow. I didn't think that was very serious. I see everything is recorded now, I just gotta be a leader at all times. I ain't third in grew up poor, tough back then. Just looking, how, just looking at the struggle, how everyone struggles, especially my mom. It's just the way I grew up, I always had to struggle. And now I'm blessed, so just trying to make it. On the other side of town, you have a kid they call Nunu, Travel Beck. Beck is regarded as the top 10th grader in the city, top five in the state. I grew up in the Morris Black Project, 110th. Used to hoop at the bath house, you could sports plan. It was fun. Man. They said you didn't play hard. I didn't, yeah, that's, they right about that. I didn't. Why not? I didn't really care. This year, cause I, I gotta play hard now. Everybody telling me like, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. So I've been taking some of it in, trying. Cause I didn't really like basketball. I used to like fighting and being in the streets and stuff. I didn't really like basketball at first. I didn't. I used to play football and try to fight, that's it. Not good. So somebody tried to convince you to get that same energy on the court? Yeah. And yeah, this lady told me I was going to die one time. Over at the Ville, you can catch one of the most exciting players in the city, Jermon Ivy. Ivy is possibly Ohio's top unknown prospect, but he's jumped on everyone's radar in recent months. Last year, it's my first year. Of course. Wow. In 10th grade year, I played JV because uh, of heavier issues and stuff. So my coach was out as a punishment, but that actually helped me and humble myself and made me better in school and stuff. It just helped me out. See, like, I respect everybody, but to be honest, I think I'm better than half of the people that's getting all the recognition. But, you know, I respect everybody. I need to realize that I can compete with anybody. And I'm getting better and better every day. That's dangerous for 
every team out here and everybody out here for real. And you know, I don't do that much talking. I just go out there and just try to get my name out there, get my team out there. And then I need everybody to know that Glenville is not just not no football school. It's a basketball school too. And that's what I'm that's what I'm, that's what me and Craig been trying to do for the past three years. Just put Glenville on as a basketball school, not just a football school. For the next three months, we welcome you on this journey through Northeast Ohio, where we hone some of the nation's top talent. Until next time, threes up.